know about you, but my teacher area gets messy every single day. The good news is I have an organized system that makes cleaning up at the end of each day a breeze. In this video, I'm gonna take you into my classroom and share with you exactly how I organize my teacher space. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I share tips on how to run an effective and efficient classroom so that you can get more done and still have time to teach. Let's go. Here's a quick overview of my entire teaching space and all of my shelves and organization pieces, and I will walk you through each piece individually. But this is where I house things for math small groups and reading small groups and then this is my teacher notebook and i'm since i'm um, benchmarking my students that's all that information this is where we keep our student keeps their uh, monday folders for graded papers to go home with and then this is where students who have class jobs keep their clipboards up here is our student folder so i file papers in there to go into their monday folders and then i have a drawer for each subject that I teach and so this is where all my copies go. I do not do a Monday through Friday drawer because sometimes we use the same copy multiple days. Sometimes I don't have any copies for that day so I found it easier to have the subject drawers instead. This basket houses all the books that um, I like to use for read alouds that I don't really want the students reading because I want to use them. And then these hold different things like my math textbook, teacher's edition, um, and then my like Fontes and Pinnell and reading strategies book when I'm lesson planning. And then this is classroom library files and then papers from the office. And then here is where I just keep extra of like random stuff. So things like if I was to get a new student, that stuff is, goes in here. Um, this is where I keep my receipt book for receiving money and then other is really just miscellaneous. So because I don't have a um, teacher desk with drawers anymore, this is where I keep the supplies that I need for myself and then my personal items like a hairbrush, uh, lotion, nail file, things like that, and then just some more supplies that I keep. And then this is where I put graded paper. So if I need to grade it, it goes in here after it comes out of the turn-in bin. I stick it in there. These are papers I need to copy. And then these are things I've already copied and need to file. And then students are allowed to access this with my permission. So it's Band-Aids, nurse passes, and erasers. So they can, I can't leave it out for them to have a free fall because they'll use them up. Then I have my, um, teacher toolbox. This is from Hanging with Mrs. Holsey. So these labels are in my TPT store, but these are from Hanging with Mrs. Holsey where it has all my little supplies. And then I use the supplies in the cabinets to refill this when I need to. Hand sanitizer because that's important. All my pens and then some sanitizing wipes. But this is the supplies I access most frequently. Stapler, tape, scissors, and then these are just sort of backup hand sanitizer. Students can use a um, colorful pen pass, and so that's what this is for. This is just a notebook that I'll take with, to me with meetings. My recess sunglasses, I leave a pair here at school. And then this is my junk basket, so where things I just don't know what needs to go in there, kind of like a junk drawer at your kitchen. And then this is my small, another small group basket where I keep pencils, glue, things, a timer, things I'll need for that. And then down here is where I keep my seasonal tub for books where these are our science experiment supplies. And then currently this is empty. I keep my lunchbox in here so it's up off the ground. And then I have my printer. This bag I got when I went to get your teach on, but what I keep in it are the um, scholastic book orders that I send home for parents to tear apart and staple together for me. So I have a parent volunteer do that. And so that all goes in that, it has a stapler in there. And then I put a little hook on the side to hang my book bag so it's not on the floor. And then this is my little area. And then I have a my document camera. And then this little basket holds a remote for the LED lights and for my Promethean board. And then I do have a filing cabinet 
It's a little bit hard to get to because I had to change my drawers, but in this houses things that I'll need for the year, um, things that I only need to keep for a year for documentation, but not um, most of my resources that are all digital now. And then down there in the second drawer is just paper. And then I have our turn in bin and this is where I put papers that we're using for that day so it's not on my table. Uh, this is where we keep the numbers for our date on the board, our calendar pieces, and then this is just colored cardstock and paper for me. And then dry erase parkets, our class store, extra copies, our visionary of the week. Information, I go ahead and make copies for the year so I don't have to do it. And then this is where I put our scholastic book orders until they're ready to go home for a parent to sort. Now I'm just going to take you through a cleanup at the end of the day. This is typically what my desk looks like at the end of the day. Some days are better than others. But I want to show you in real time how quickly it is to clean up my area because I have places for everything. So I'm going to start with paper clips because they are everywhere and I just put those into my teacher toolbox along with any of the other little pieces that I have. And then I am going to take some of the extra copies that I have left over from our science notebooks that we worked on this afternoon and slide those into the extra copies drawer that is easily to put away. This whole process takes about two to five minutes and I do it typically while students are packing up. This is just my teacher math book that I'm just gonna stick on the shelf cause I'm gonna need it again tomorrow. And then these items, go on a bulletin board in the hallway and I'm just leaving them on my table because I need to put it up the next day along with the origami club that we're doing the next morning and then my clipboard. Um, my students are working on a project in social studies and they're going to finish it up the next day so I'm leaving those all on my table. I don't put everything away all the time. I had some extra chargers left over and they just go in this shelf down here so students can access it when they need to charge their Chromebooks the next day. My laptop will go in my book bag to go home and then I'm just going to clean up some pens and then I switch over to my desk area to straighten that up as well, putting post-it notes back where it goes and some other papers. I think there's another pencil I need to put away all into the same container and then my remotes so I will have them readily available the next day. And here is the final look before I walk out the door. It took about two minutes to get this done. Remember, organization is about finding what works for you. As you saw, many of my spaces weren't perfectly organized, but they were contained so that they appear organized. And having everything labeled and in drawers makes cleaning up at the end of the day so easy. You can grab those drawer labels down below in the description box. And if you want more organization ideas, click on the video that is on your screen now and I will see you over there.